Hello again, Werner von Monrod here. Um, I was actually just starting to make a text blog about this record, but then I thought, no, you know what? This is one of those records you gotta have sound clips for. <laughs> so, wow, there it is. This is Melissa by Search, as in MC Search, although at this point he didn't have the MC Search, it was just Search. Came out in 1986 of Warlock Records. This is his first record before third base and all of that. Okay, now you'll see this was produced by Grand Wiz Tony D. Now this is not the Tony D of, you know, dropping funky verses, Crusaders for Hip Hop, you know, that Tony D. This is the Tony D who didn't do too much else besides doing a couple records with MC Search. Um, this is specifically Anthony Dick. Um, you may remember from the Gas Face song, Tony Dick Gets the Gas Face, that's this guy. Now supposedly one of the things that said the, let's say, the real Tony D, the Tony D we all know and love and put out albums, etc. What supposedly set him off against MC Search, or one of the things that set him off against MC Search, is that he heard that line, Tony Dick gets a gas face, and took it as a diss to him. You know, D standing for Dick, not realizing that there was actually a real Tony Dick whose last name was Dick, uh, who MC Search was very specifically dissing. So, okay, the tune Melissa itself. Um, a huge Slick Rick, Ricky D ripoff. Um, Obviously, specifically, Lottie Dottie. Um, the whole thing, the, you know, the way he tells a story about meeting a girl, obviously in this case Melissa, um, right down to the fact that he actually does a Slick Rick impression with his voice. He makes himself sound like Slick Rick with that sort of faux British accent-y thing. Uh, and just the way he tells the story is totally a rip-off. But it's not, you know, with that said, it's not bad. Um, he actually does a fairly decent job of... Uh, mimicking Slick Rick style at least, so it's kind of a fun record. But still, most heads who are getting this record is probably getting it for the B-side, Contact. Which is, um, you know, just a straight, raw, hardcore, hip-hop, you know, bragging rhymes. DJ, again, Tony D, scratching, bragging about his DJ, etc, etc. It's a pretty dope song, especially for 1986. If it wasn't ahead of his time, it was at least at the forefront of his time, you know. So it, it's a pretty dope record and it still holds up today. This is also the song where uh, MC Search has a line, Tony D's an inspiration. Um, of course, obviously talking about his DJ, Grand Wiz Tony D, but uh, which the real, again, Tony D used uh, for the hook for his song, Shoe Palace, which was one of his <laughs> several uh, third bass disses. And the beats are pretty dope for both. Got that sort of very 80s, you know, big drum sound. I'm not going to go too much into describing the beats because you're going to hear it all perfectly in the samples anyway. But, you know, some, some dope production work there. Instrumentals for both are provided on the 12-inch. So it's a little bit of a rarity. It's not super impossible to find. Um, you can certainly find it online, you know, if you're a fan, you want it, you'll get it. But pos probably not for as cheap <laughs> as you would like to get it. A clear B-side wins again <laughs> record. Um, clearly all the heads and DJs are after contact when they buy this record. But the A-side really, not so bad. Again, it, he does, you know, a fairly decent job of quitting himself doing the Slick Rick style. It's a bit of a rip-off, but hey, a lot of rip-off songs have been pretty good. Um, so definitely worth checking out. Both songs are worth checking out uh, for hardcore, third base fans, completists. Um, and then for other people, for more casual fans, <laughs> there's at least a pretty strong novelty value uh, for hearing them do the whole la di da -di style. So I'm going to let you hear both clips right now. Um, Melissa, back with Contact. And this is Werner von Wallenrod Ooh. signing out. A girl may even try to address Ooh. her with the money in her face Ooh. for a moment's caress Ooh. her. You basically did not to me just to kiss her, but she was all mine and her name was Melissa. I was walking along on Fifth Avenue, strolling over to Bones, just me and the crew. I had my black valleys out, I bought a sleep so lend. To Tom Calvin, I'm a shirt by the Edgar Man. Her jacket very shaped by Tiffany. Looked like I just picked out the bedroom in sports to leave. The GQ magazine, this and no pros. My cologne, of course, the Giorgio of Beverly Definitely to be seen as this window and so The girl of my dreams coming out her dressing room in all lace bikini. The license of Melissa on her coupe of Lamborghini. I was bugging, had my face against glass. Watching this girl and checking out her ass. There's the flowers on the counter where she used to charge cards. I had to think of a lot to get her job too hard. Oh, Melissa, the girl's name was Melissa. Melissa. Get ready for the camp. He takes a fist to hand 
Don't 